look, when you're looking at the news, you have to be, in my opinion, open-minded. You have to be objective and, and do the best you can. What happened to you, Chink? You've changed. And what kind of a dumb name is Chink anyway? Sounds like bits of metal hitting each other. Look, I'll prove it to you. Chink. I didn't fuck around with the audio then either. Most expecting parents get books filled with babies' names. I think your parents were just drying the dishes one night and said, fuck it, that'll do. But anyway, we've got more pressing issues to address. Bearing, I'm home! Get your fat ass up and help me with the groceries! Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. I'm just in the middle of a video. What's the video about? The Young Turks. You know that fat asshole chink? Sounds like bits of metal hitting each other. Yeah, I did that one. I mean... Most expecting parents get books of babies' names. Yeah, I did that one too. Fine. I'll be putting away the groceries. Anyway, where were we? Bill Cosby has filed a defamation lawsuit against seven women who have accused him of rape or sexual assault. Well, going by that shit-eating smirk painted across your face, I'm tipping you think that's a bit ridiculous, Anna. Now, the women that he's going after uh, are the same women who have filed a defamation lawsuit against him because after they came forward with their stories of being sexually assaulted by him, uh, he went in the media and he started to say defamatory things about them. What? Like, I didn't rape them? I'm not being a smarty pants. I genuinely don't know what he said. But surely that'd be like in the top three things you'd say after being accused of rape by a heap of women, wouldn't it? So basically, his lawsuit is a response to their defamation lawsuit. Uh, now, keep in mind that more than 40 women have come forward with very similar stories of him uh, attempting to drug them and have sex with them. Okay, 40 women said that he raped them. I'll keep that in mind. I can't help but get the impression, though, that what you really want me to keep in mind is Bill Cosby raped 40 women. But this is his way of handling the situation by suing the seven women who have filed a defamation lawsuit against him. Well, if you didn't rape them, that wouldn't exactly be unreasonable, would it? I mean, I'd definitely consider he raped me to be a defamatory statement, wouldn't you? To be slightly fair to him when uh, apparently there's not good reason to be fair to him. You big spastic bastard. You should always be totally fair to everyone, Chink. Being fair doesn't mean being nice. If Bill Cosby has raped anyone, we should still be fair to him. In that case, being fair would involve locking him in a prison for a long time. For fuck's sake. If you were innocent, this is what you would do. Mm -hmm. You would file for defamation. That's the reason why he's doing this. Not yes. because he's innocent, because he wants to make it appear that he's innocent. You have to be objective. Well, now he's going to have to go to court. See, if I was innocent, this is what I'd do, because I'd want to go to court. Jeez, you sound like you know your way around this, Chink and actually lay out the evidence. Now, if you are doing it to, for the appearance of innocence, and then you actually have to go to court and the evidence comes out against you, it might not turn out so well. So we'll see if he actually follows through. It's one thing to file the suit, it's another thing to get into the court. So there might come a time between now and then when he finds Jesus and it's like, yeah, so anyways, as I was saying about that lawsuit, that is the shittest Bill Cosby impression I have ever heard. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Forgive, Not so much. Yeah, forgive and forget. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'll let it go. Yeah. 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 He might wind up in court whether he likes it or not. Dude, your, your 2005 deposition where you totally admitted that you bought Quaaludes with the intention of drugging young women. That is just shocking. What's the harshest punishment available for saying you bought Quaaludes to drug women? Because he should have the book thrown at him. How, how do you, how does anyone recover from that? How does anyone dodge prosecution? Yeah, because you know, 40 women have come out and accused him of rape many, many years after the fact. And everyone knows if lots of women say something, it's definitely true. You know I, why? I think it's because it's, it's possible you get so deluded you, you drink your own Kool-Aid. <laughs> and you, Chink, have drank your own Kool-Aid and gargled your own shit. So he might be doing this because he really thinks, like, what, what? I mean, just because I drugged them and they were unconscious, that what is that, rape? That's not rape. Why'd they come over? Well, you've impressed me, Chink. You actually did a shitter Bill Cosby impersonation. Now I can feel a social experiment coming on. It seems that the Young Turks can't accept that 40 people saying something could be anything other than the truth. Well, let's put that to the test. 
I wonder how many people would be willing to write Chenk raped me in the comments section of this video. Now Chenk, before you get all lawyery about it, nobody's actually accusing you of rape. This is merely a social experiment to determine whether it is in fact possible for 40 people to say something for any other reason than absolute truth. Now if 40 or more people are willing to do this, I think it'd be fair to say that you owe Bill Cosby an apology. Yeah.